Yeah. Alright, hi guys. It's Jodie here and I just came back from my mats. Boom. I figured I bought a substantial amount of things so I would do a haul and I would show you what I got. You probably don't care but fuck it. Um, my makeup's been on all day so I'm pretty shiny. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, my oils come through. But do you know what? I don't care. I've been saving up for a really long time and I got some money from my gram as an early birthday present because mind because I am turning 18 next month so yeah I have money from that well I had money from that yeah should we get into it I got it's a big bag full of goodies <laughs> um, it's actually a Kat Von D bag which I got with our purchase the Kat Von D stall, holy shit. Um, I think we were in that queue for an hour. Literally an hour. And that wasn't ideal. But, hee hoo, hee hoo. My makeup's all on my face. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Let's get into this. First of all, um, I got. Can you guess it is? Just by the name. Yeah, I got Nars Luguna bronzer because everybody and their mama talks about this. So I picked it up. It looks really nice. It looks like a really nice contour shade actually. I'm not sure whether it'll be a contour or bronzer on me. Or both. But either way, picked that up. And um, for those of you who don't know, I'm at, if you buy things at I'm at, you get them for cheaper. I am so sorry about the lighting, by the way. I'm very sorry. But yeah, at I'm at, you get things for cheaper. Um, you get a discounted cost because, I don't know, it's I'm at. If you're a makeup artist, then you get an even bigger discount. But sadly, I'm not insured yet. Next thing I picked up, um, there's a couple of brushes by the brand Bedellium Tools. Um, fuck knows if I'm saying that right. But I got two brushes from them. One's the shading blender and one's just a normal blending brush because you can never have too many blending brushes. You can never have too many brushes in general. Next, I'll move on to Kat Von D. Oh my god, I am so sorry about the lighting. I don't know what to do about that. Oh, well, well, me are familiar faces. Is this any better? Fuck knows. Um, I, as I said, I've just come back from my mats, so I'm not at home. I am in my sister's flat. I am currently staying in her flatmate's room because she's away, so this is her room. <laughs> yeah, let's get into the Cap on D products because your girl waited long enough. It was totally worth it. <laughs> um, first, I got the Kat Von D Lock It Makeup Setting Mist because I am out of my Urban Decay All Nighter and I've been using like MAC Fix Plus just because I have it and it's good to like get rid of the powdery look of your makeup and all that shit, but I don't think it actually prolongs wear of your makeup so I got this. Up until recently you could not get Cap on D in the UK, now they sell in Debenhams but since they started selling in Debenhams I have been on a no buy because I've been saving up for this trip so I haven't managed to get anything but 
Once I was there, I decided to treat myself. Next thing I got. I always open boxes, like, at the bottom because I hate to ruin the top. Like, is it just me? <laughs> but no, I got the translucent lace powder. Yeah, Kat Von D Locket translucent powder. Why? I could have said that in a much easier way, but where's my head? I don't know. Um, next from Kat Von D, I got one of the tattoo liners in Trooper. Um, that's what it's called, right? Yeah, Trooper Black. Um, because everyone, again, everyone says that, holy crap, this is the best liner ever, and I wanted to get it. So I got it. I there's, there's no reason for me to be justified myself because do you know what? I just went and spent a shit ton of money because I wanted to. And Kat Von D, like the people who were working at Kat Von D, they were absolutely lovely. I can't go over it. Loads of them came over from America to do this, and they are the sweetest people ever. And Whilst we'd like been waiting, we'd been waiting for like half an hour at this point, um, this girl came round and gave us all mini studded kiss lipsticks um, in the shade Mercy and that's really really cute. I'll give you a little swatch. What's the lighting doing? Ooh. It smells amazing. This is why, did I do that in a good spot? No I didn't. Um, this is the colour, Mercy. We all got a mini one of those because we were waiting for ages and I thought that was really, really nice of them. And then in our bags at the end, we had one of these and we actually had a mini tattoo liner. So that's really, really cute. The people there were so sweet, so helpful. It was a really nice experience. And last but not least from Camp Von D. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I got the Alchemist palette. Ah! I am so pumped. So it looks like I heard loads of people online saying it was a lot smaller than they would realised. So I was expecting this, but no. Honestly, the packaging is absolutely beautiful, and I cannot wait to use this. Okay, next I got a couple of brushes from Sigma. I got more blending brushes because they're in my face. Um, I got the E25 blending and the E35 blending brush. So I am very excited to try those out. I've never used Sigma brushes before. And next from the brand Stargazer, um, I recognise the name Stargazer. I, for some reason in my head I had it as the name is like hair dye or something but I went over to that stall and the people there were really really nice and I got two yeah I got two beautiful loose glitters which I'm very very excited to play with and I got their glitter fix gel which is just an adhesive I actually went along to the NYX counter to see if I could get NYX counter or NYX stall um, to see if I could pick up some things that I'd been wanting to get for a while. Everything I wanted was sold out. It's my life. Okay, next, from the brand Eldora Lashes, I got four pairs of pretty, pretty lashes. I'm so excited to try these out. I got the lashes. M111, M106, M108, and M104. And I'm very excited to try these out. They're supposed to be amazing. I picked up one of the original Beauty Blenders because I've never actually used one of these. I've always used my Real Techniques one. So when I saw this there, I've always said like, oh yeah, I'll pick it up, I'll pick it up, I will buy it. But I finally did. So I'm excited to try that out. I'm actually really bad for calling my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge a beauty blender because like, to me they're all like beauty blenders, but no, this is the original beauty blender. Oh, more lashes. I picked up my first ever pair of velour lashes. Um, these are in the style. 
Lashaholic. Is that what these are? Yeah, I think it's just Lashaholic. And they are stunning. They are so thick and beautiful and I'm very excited to try those out. I've never tried flare lashes before. It's again, one of those things. It's always been on my list, but I've never been able to justify it. But today I was like, do you know what? Fuck it. Um, I picked up the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer um, in the shade Almond because this is supposed to be really, really good for cream contouring and I have one of these concealers in a lighter shade that matches me more but I figured try this out for contouring next I again something people on YouTube have been raving about for forever but I've never gone round to trying it I got the Makeup Forever HD Ultra HD foundation and I am super excited to try this. It was actually quite funny because I went over and I was like, hi, would you recommend the foundation or would you recommend the stick? And um, she was like, what kind of finish are you looking for? I was like, well, I'm quite oily, so nothing too dewy. And she was like, okay, then you're wanting the foundation. And I was like, okay, wonderful, great. And I turned to her and I was like, can you colour match me? And she literally, first one she picked up, she put a bit on the back of my hand, put a bit on my neck because we don't want to move any of my foundation perfect, straight away she knew her shit she knew her shit and last but certainly not least I, oh hit your nose I picked up one of the Urban Decay Vice Special Effects Lip Toppers I think that's what they're called um, I got mine in the shade Litter and I'm super excited for this. I don't think the camera really picks it up, but let's see if a swatch will help a brother out. It basically has this beautiful like duochrome glitter and it's just like, there you go. Absolutely stunning, so. Again, I'm excited to try this. Apparently these ones dry down matte and that's what I've kind of been looking for. I think I may have actually picked up the wrong one. I picked up the one that is just glitter. Gold star, Georgia. Didn't want this one. I wanted another one. <laughs> sure, happens to be it. I've heard that these are one of the only lip toppers that actually dry down matte. So I'm intrigued and I'm excited. Yeah, that is everything I got at IMAT. Um, it was a really, really good experience. I would love to go back. And yeah, hopefully I'll be able to have the opportunity to go back in the future. Hope so. Hope you didn't mind this kind of ratchet ass video. Weird lighting and I'm in a stranger's room. <laughs> Enjoyed. A uh, vlog will be coming up. I'm not sure. Oh, look, links. Let's change the A vlog will be coming up. I'm not sure whether it will be up before this video or after this video, but that'll be my whole trip to London. And yeah, I hope you look forward to seeing that. I look forward to editing it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on my next video. Bye. I'm just super excited to try everything. Everything. How bad's the lighting now? That's not very nice. Oh. Hello? Yeah? Can I come in? Uh, do you mind if I come see you after? I'm just filming what I got. Right. Well, that's it coming up. Girl.